we saw that we cannot use named area for the title for the header image because the named areas cannot overlap but we can use named tracks so tracks these are these lines between columns and, and, and rows and CSS grid allows us to name them and then to use the na these names when we place elements so let's uh, click here on this line and we give it a name so let's call it header but then we also need to add dash start so this will be the start of our header and this will be the end so here we do header dash end and we also do same here header start and the image ends here so this will be and the names of, of horizontal and vertical lines could be different so this could be header start header end and this could be I don't know like poster start poster end but why not keep them the same and now with these track names defined we just notch the header image uh, in place a bit and we see that here the tracks are no the the position is no longer defined by coordinates but by names of the tracks and now if we go and change the grid for example here we notice that we could optimize our uh, grid layout because we have these two columns are the same um, title title author author text and text so we can optimize it by deleting one and making the other one bigger so we end up with, with a similar layout and simpler grid structure so in a way CSS grid is a lot like a game uh, it can become very messy with lots of cells and rows and columns and lines uh, but if we look carefully we can find ways how to optimize it and of course the goal should always be to have the layout as simple as possible and also here we notice maybe it would look better if we would have more space between the header and, and the quote and the text and instead of dealing with paddings and margins we can simply insert a new row and now we have to update the, the header end so this should be and let's delete this one simply remove its name and say OK and then we can let's also take off this area should not be here and change the sizing to pixels and now we have a nice way to set the, the kind of the white space between the content and the header using our grid row we can also click in the field and then use up up and down keys or in combination with shift to make uh, changes and if we need more options for this we just double click and we we get like uh, most useful combinations with descriptions that we can use